What's up guys? We got the F-104 Starfighter. This is my second version that I made with this guy because the first one I made was so small, uh, it was just too tightly packaged, it was impossible to get the servo wires through, and um, and when I threw it, believe it or not, this, um, this uh, elevator servo did not have a screw on the top, that came loose, and I, I'm gonna say it was that, I'm not 100% sure, but um, yeah, I think it was. Uh, and so this is a 50 millimeter 4S, uh, 50 millimeter Galaxy. It's got 4.3 gram servos to keep the uh, the weight down, and also the wings are so thin that you need to have uh, that that scale. Uh oh, what just happened there? All right, guys, take two. F-104 Starfighter. I had a little intro here explaining that I this is my second build. It's 50 millimeter 4S. Hi guys. <laughs> It's a rainy day here, and I forgot to glue in my servos. So you can see here, I have Gorilla Tape, basically just holding them in. This is a really stupid idea to throw this thing up. And then we got this little guy. That thing actually flew. I'm gonna show you the video. So that actually flew, and I'm excited to try to fly that. So anyway, um, balancing right on the front of the nubs here. The first one I made was, was way too tight and way too small. So uh, I made a larger version of it, and this is the larger version. And I am hopeful that we can get a flight in now. Then go clean my tires. Okay. Got a little bit of anti-roll in it. Uh, it's got a little bit of up trim on the... Uh, All right, so I have to have a lot of expo in here because uh, things get wild with this design. The short little wings and the, um, and the uh, what do you call it? I hope nothing's gonna shift. Let me just make sure my CG is good. Sorry guys, my brain is not working. I just, I'm getting over being really sick. My son brought the stomach virus home and I'm trying to reprogram my brain here. All right, let's give this a shot. Hopefully we got a flight. Yes. Yes. All right, I'm just trimming it down. All right, she flies good. She flies really good. Wow. I think it might be a little bit tail heavy. No, maybe not actually. Maybe I just had the uh, the tail trim too much because I could visibly see that it was a little bit. Wow, the Starfighter is freaking fast. And as it should be, right? <laughs> Wow, this thing is cool. I'm glad I didn't give up on this. I am really happy that I did not give up because it flies so good. Look at this thing. Wow, but it still wants to climb. Okay, I'm gonna bring it in and wanna watch the roll rate? I don't even know if I want to. I, I, I slowed it way down. I only have like 60% roll. Look at this guy. Wow. This is actually really cool. I was like short little wings, uh, elevated tail, tail system. Everything is like kind of small, the surfaces and everything. The wings are tiny. I was like, this is not going to be fun, but it actually is a really fun plane to fly. <laughs> and it flies really good. Wow, very impressed. Yeah, nothing weird. Good tendencies. Just because it just flies good. 
All right, so I think we bring him in and we uh, move to CG and just do one more quick flight because it's raining and my wife and my son probably want to leave. Oh, too much, too much speed. It flies really good though. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. All right, good. That was really good, actually. I'm happy with that. All right, one more battery. Now I am on the front. Now I'm on the front of the dots. And now let's take a look at this. And that is actually pretty good. Uh, I did six, six, uh, six little clicks of up trim. And that should be good with the CG right now. All right, ready? Let's do it again. Have we got another flight? Oh yeah. Much better. Wow, this thing is done. This thing is perfect. I just need to move the CG bumps forward like 10 millimeters. Oh, it's really good. Sweet. It could even go forward a little more too. Unbelievable, how could the CG be so, so forgiving on a model like this with such short little stubby guy wings? And I got the throws turned down, so I'm gonna have to measure these throws and give them to you guys because if you guys run full rates on these, you're gonna you're gonna die because I did it on the first version. Let's see the turn radius here. Pretty good for a non-delta. Wow, I'm impressed. I'm getting definitely more comfortable. I'm gonna come back when it's not raining, guys, and actually fly this thing a little bit more. Very super cool. Wow. There is no wind right now, so the, so this speed you see is right. That's that's like a legit float speed for it, which is pretty unbelievable for a starfighter. I'm not I'm not flying it into like 15, 20 mile an hour wind, uh, trying to make it seem like it flies slow. I did enlarge the wing size a little bit from scale, obviously, because it's an RC plane. And yeah, very good. It's very, very nice, docile, slow speed character. Happy, very happy. F-104. And it's got a pretty decent glide rate, which is nuts. It like doesn't want to come in. Look at that thing glide. <laughs> and it lands good, even with the wings uh, anhedral like that. Cool, well, this is done. CG bumps, oh yeah, and then I just need to figure out a little bit better of a latching system for the canopy. But uh, happy, very happy with this guy. All right, well, thanks for watching the video. And uh, the F-104, the Starfighter, will be available shortly.